everybody. He's eating. What are you eating? Gummy bear. Cinnamon bear. I'm a gummy bear. Just a gummy bear. I don't know how that song goes. I never even heard of it. Oh, Megan used to sing it all the time. Okay. Anyway, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. So I think we're both feeling pretty good today. We didn't have the best day. <laughs> we took a ride all the way to Moreno Valley, which is about a half hour, 40 minute drive, to go see my foot doctor. And which would have been a half hour, 40 minute drive, took us an hour and 10 minutes because of a accident. And then we got there too late for the doctor to see me and we would have had to sit there for about an hour to two hours to see if he could squeeze me into his schedule. Now we rescheduled for tomorrow morning. So now I have an appointment tomorrow morning for my feet, an appointment tomorrow afternoon for my physical therapy, an appointment tomorrow afternoon to take Bootsy to the vets. Okay, so first off we want to thank a couple of people. Angie Lupus Life donated some money to us through our support button and Angie, we thank you so very much. It means so much to us for, for all the help. And on May 2nd, we got a, la a rather large donation, but we don't know who it came from. Um, so to the anonymous donator that gave us $300, we thank you very, very much. From the bottom of our hearts, it is going to come in tremendously um, very helpful towards paying this month's mortgage and bills. So oh. we thank you very, very much. Um, Alyssa Page, she made pepper scraps enchilada meatballs and they turned out yummy. So I need to send Pepper a message to let her know that somebody made them and that they liked them. Back. BZ Vlogs, welcome to the neighborhood. All the way from Scotland. Loves Ooh. our videos. Loves Boomer. He was up here a minute ago, wasn't he? I don't know. He's somewhere getting into trouble. Um, and Davi Ashby. Welcome back, girl. We certainly missed you. We hope you're doing okay. And hope you stick around and make some more comments and hang out with us a little more. Mm -hmm. Gaga's little monster, Tamar, happy 18th birthday to you. Make sure you have a happy and safe birthday tomorrow. Okay, my question yesterday was what is something that you dislike but you wish you liked? Angie Lupus Life hates seafood. She wishes she liked it because it's a more healthy option for dinner. Well, I like seafood. I'm tolerating f more fish, but take me to lobster, shrimp, crab. We're, yeah, that's shellfish, and yeah. we really love this. Both of us love the shellfish. Uh, the other fish, not so much. You're getting better with it, though, with some Just of it. Just certain fish. Yeah, with some of it. It doesn't taste fishy. Yeah, so we're getting there. Fish that doesn't taste like fish. <laughs> okay, and then we have Daily Rambles and Dougie Style. Both hate housework, but they have to do it. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? You hate it. I hate it, and yeah. I hate that the house is a disaster. Mm -hmm. And I can't do a darn thing about it. Mm -hmm. I want to. Christy Shiver, she hates roller coasters because they look like so much fun. I'll tell you, Christy, I used to go on every roller coaster in the world. I loved roller coasters. Not so much anymore. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. I just, I get more queasy now. That's yeah, probably because of your health issues. Yeah. Maybe after my surgery and I'm feeling better. Who knows? Okay, and Portland Creek Diaries. 
wish she liked bananas because they're good for you, full of potassium, but she can't even stand the smell or the texture of them. I'm with you. I, I can handle a banana in my cereal once in a while, but a banana sitting on the, the, the counter or hanging on one of those fruit things, I can't handle the smell of it. And if it touches like a napkin and the napkin smells like it, no, I got to throw it out. Mm -mm. Can't handle it. Nope. Bambi S, major yard work. She used to love to do her yard work, but then things started happening with her son and, and you know, she had to put priorities and take care of him. And then her yard kind of, the, the cottonwood trees, the roots took over and wrecked her patio and she's got weeds and everything. So every once in a while she'll pay somebody to come and clean it up. But she would like to do it again at some point. But right now she just lets somebody else do it. And Crimson Fairy wishes she liked tea. Because when she goes out all the time, the only thing she has to choose from, because she can't drink soda, is water and coffee. So she wishes that she liked some tea so that she would have a little bit more of a variety. And Tresemme One, oh, she wishes she likes the ocean. She can go into the ocean about up to her knees. I'm with you on this one, girl. Um, because she's afraid that something's out there looking for food. And with everything that's been going on, if you guys have been watching the news around here lately, Sharks have been coming in to closer to the beaches. Okay, my question for tonight is, what is your all-time favorite meal, and when was the last time you had it? How often? And how often do you have it? There you go. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Rolls. Make it fast. American Idol's on. <laughs> yeah, I beat you. Okay, so yesterday's <laughs> question was about the movie um, Cube. Yes. Cube. Just Cube. This is actually a very interesting movie. Um, it's a kind of a mystery, but the question was, what are all the characters named after? And I, it seems like writers do this a lot. But um, the cube is kind of a prison. Everybody's in this cube, and they're trying to get out. Everybody's name is a prison. So I'm not going to go through them all because I don't remember. I know Quentin's in there. Okay, to, and the ones who got that correct was the, uh, the YouTube guy, 1985, Terry Johnson, The Abyss, 92882, Tanya Longley, Bambi S, and Jess Lucero. Okay, and tonight's question has to do with the 1974 movie, Young Frankenstein. Ooh. Major classics. Uh, Mel Brooks movie starring Gene Wilder and um, Cloris Leachman and uh, Terry Garr. And who else is in it? The question on this movie is, what's, what famous song was inspired by this movie? It came out in 1975. Very good question. The rock song just gave me an Very good question. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out all our 